Dr. Shinaoka and I published an article entitled The Methodology of Lymphatic Anatomy Studies in a Cadaver Model and Overview in Plastic and Aesthetic Research. In this article, I'm focusing on what kind of the technique anatomists used to demonstrate in the lymphatic system and briefly introducing my current method. Gasparo Azeri is credited to the discovery of the lymphatic system. He using a living dog for the material. So technical improvement was done by the Anton Nuk, who discovered the mercury injection method. So the mercury injection method become the standard technique to visualize in the lymphatic system for the next 300 years. Famous publication written by SAPI also using the mercury method. However, mercury was toxic, is toxic and stopped using for the anatomical study in the early 20th centuries. Anatomists switched the mercury to the dye injection method, which called the Gerotas method. Mercury traveled a long distance in a cadaver specimen, but the uh, uh, Gerotas technique of the dye only traveled in a short distance. So this is the reason, so the anatomical study material are switched from the adult human cadavers to the fetus material. So this is a potential limitation. The anatomist stopped studying the lymphatic system. So there is no huge advancement for the gross anatomical study of the lymphatic system more than 100 years. However, now the plastic surgeon is seeking for the good technique to treating the lymphedema, and also the understanding of the lymphatic system is very important to understand cancer metastasis. I developed a new method to demonstrate in the lymphatic system in the adult human cadaver and published in the plastic, uh, plastic and reconstructive surgery in the 2005. My method is very simple. So injecting the hydrogen peroxide to identify the lymphatic system. So th this is my current technique. So additionally, I start using the uh, endocyanin green lymphography before the dissection of the lymphatic system. So the endocyanin green lymphography can work in a uh, fresh cadaver specimen. So then I can map the course of the lymphatic system prior to the dissection. Once I can find the location of the lymphatic system. So hydrogen peroxide method can be applicable to inject the color dye or radio contrast media for the demonstration. After I performed the many dissection and then extensive literature review, so I proposed a new concept as the lymphosome. So the skin lymphatic uh, system can be demarcated by the lymphosomes. Thank you for your attention. If you have any further question, please feel free to contact me.